OK, so even though support for Windows 10 is ending in October 2025, there is a way you can extend that support till January 2032. Yes, that's January 2032. So quite a way off from when this video is being recorded in 2025. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. Now, it's a little known fact to many that there is a version of Windows 10 called Windows 10 LTSC. That's long term servicing channel, which is still going to get official updates until 2032. And this video is going to show you how you can upgrade from Windows Home or Professional to that version. Now, normally there is no upgrade path to it. They don't allow you to keep your personal files and apps if you upgrade from Home and Pro, but there is a workaround and I'm going to show you that workaround in this video. Now, first of all, what is Windows LTSC? Well, LTSC stands for Long Term Servicing Channel, and it's designed for specialised environments where stability and minimal changes are crucial. So they're not likely to be giving you any updates that's going to change anything on the screen. It's more going to be security updates. So it's mainly used in mission critical enterprise systems. So used in industries where stability is key, such as healthcare, manufacturing and financial services. It's also found in ATMs, kiosks, medical equipment and digital signage, where updates could interfere with functionality. It should be also noticed that long term servicing additions do not have store apps installed by default. But if you're upgrading from Windows Home or professional, then it will retain those store apps. But if you install it as a fresh, then you won't have that. It's very, very basic. Now, it also should be noticed that even though you will get security updates till 2032, there could be some apps that just aren't going to support Windows 10 in any shape or form until that date. So say, for instance, Google decide to end support for Chrome in a couple of years from now, it's going to be discontinued on all versions of Windows, including the long term servicing channel. So how do you get hold of the one of these LTSC products? Well, there's loads of them on sale. You can buy an OEM key for next to nothing if you just go into your browser and search for Windows 10 LTSC IOT OEM and the IOT is very, very important because that version is supported until January 2032. Versions of Windows 10 without LTSC in the title are supported until January 2027. So there's five years extra support with the IOT version. Once I've searched in Bing for Windows 10 LTSC IOT OEM, there's one there, first one on the list from Gamers Outlet. That's got IOT in it and they go 1919. I'm not recommending a particular company, but I have purchased stuff from them before and they do seem to be pretty reliable. Now, it is possible you can go the other way and get a copy of it elsewhere, but I would say at that price, just do it the legal way. Just go through the legal channels and get it that way. So once you've got your disk or your USB drive or whatever it is, the media comes on, then what you're going to need to do is first things first is you're going to need to back up any important files on your computer. Make sure that you've got copies of any apps or programs that you've got installed. Make sure you've got copies of passwords for any services that you use and your email, your social media, etc, etc, etc. Make sure you plan for the worst. If anything should happen, if this is quite a big thing to upgrade and it's not genuinely supported, so therefore anything could happen. I always say make sure that you've got backup copies of everything. Make sure you've got the media to reinstall Windows if you need to. As I say, prepare for the worst. This is quite reliable, but I cannot be held responsible for any issues that you incur or any data loss you incur by following this. So once you're happy, everything's backed up and you've got everything in place to be able to reinstall everything should you need to, then click on the start button and then type on the keyboard C for Charlie, M for 
mother D for Delta and you should see command prompt come up there. Click on the right mouse button and then this menu should come up and then left click run as administrator. If this comes up, move your mouse over yes, left click once and then you need to type this command in just as it's shown on the screen now. It is case sensitive. So pause this video if you need to write this down and then unpause it once you've typed that in. Now this is the command which enables you to open up the upgrade path to Windows 10 LTSC from a standard version of Windows. Without this, you are not going to be able to upgrade directly. So type that in. Once you've typed it in and you've triple checked it that everything is OK, then press enter or return. Now, if you get anything wrong here, I should say that you could ruin your system. So do make sure that you are 100 percent sure that this you've typed correctly. OK, so press enter or return. And if you've typed it correctly, you should see underneath it the operation completed successfully. Close this window down by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner. And then you want to put your disk in that you got or your USB drive. Or if you downloaded a file, an I. ISO file, then double click on that ISO file and it should mount as a drive. So scroll down on the left there to this PC and we want to look for, there we go, there's our IOT, this uh, usually signified by this green and blue icon. Let's just double click that and then double click the blue and green icon which says setup. And then if this comes up, Move your mouse over yes, left click once. And here, what I always do here is I make sure that I want to help make the installation of Windows better. Make sure that's unticked. And I'm going to click change how Windows setup downloads the updates. And I'm going to say not right now. So click not right now and then click next. The only reason I do that is because it, if whilst it's checking for updates, it seems to hang forever whilst it's doing that. And this this just speeds up the process. It will download the updates once it's installed. So, OK, if you're happy with the licensing agreement, then move your mouse over accept, left click once. And now it says making sure you're ready to install and it should give us the option to allow us to upgrade whilst keeping our programs and files. You might see this just OK. That is just saying you might need to change your display language back to the original. So click on OK and uh, it's just making sure your PC has enough space. Yes, it does. And as you can see, there's two ticks there, one next to install Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC. That's the Windows and it's going to keep personal files and apps. So move your mouse over install, left click once. And there you go. It's now upgrading Windows 10. This is going to take a little while. So please do not try to turn your computer off. It may hang a few times, but please just walk away from it. Believe you me, it is updating. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and we're going to come back to it a little later. OK, so after a few restarts, the new version of Windows 10 has been installed and let's just check to see whether it's activated. If it's not been activated, then I'm going to show you how to activate it. So click on the start button, click on the settings cog just there and then type where it says find a setting, type activate. And as you're typing it, it says there, see if Windows is activated. So click on that. Now, mine is activated, but if yours isn't, then what you need to do is you need to click on change product key just there and type in the product key that you purchased from wherever you purchased it from that came with the CD or come via email or come via the download. Type that in there and then click next. And then that should be activated. And as long as you've purchase the Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC, then as far as Windows security updates are concerned, you will still get them until January 2032.
I hope you liked this video and if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.